Ross Rifle, Mark III. Weighing in at 9.9 .9 pounds with an overall length of 50.6 inches, according to its inventor Charles, this is the most perfect rifle of its time in the world. Let's see if he was right. To load up, we'll strip in five rounds of 303 British, not the smoothest. Close it back up, and we're ready. Long and heavy, it's a struggle to keep her level, but I'll do my best. Being a straight pull, we'll operate it from the shoulder. Better leverage there, plus no brass to the face. Our safety lever is fairly obvious and conveniently placed. The switch on the left is our magazine cutoff, up pulls from the mag, down lets you toss in singles, and mid unlocks the bolt for removal. The sights are complex, a rear U-notch battle sight with an optional flip-up adjustable aperture, and at the front, a thick blade with a hood. As for recoil, sounds more stout than it actually is. In the end, having handled a number of World War I rifles, I'm gonna have to disagree with Charles on this one. It's not the best, but it's not the worst either. If you'd like to know more, subscribe to CN Arsenal.